Hey, you too. Now, supposedly the world's gonna end in a couple of days. Holy shit. Now, I'm, uh, by the way, I'm smoking a, um, Marwood 100. These are pretty awesome cigarettes. Okay, now, supposedly the world's gonna end in a couple of days. Hmm. What have, what have we as humans accomplished? Now, we as humans have accomplished a lot of good things. Some of us, not so good things. I'm talking, of course, about fame and fortune and all that other shit. Take a shit real quick. That's not gonna be the only load off my mind. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Now, anyway, I was going to go on YouTube and share with you some stuff, but before I do that, I just saw uh, the Young Turk from my subscriptions and made another video. War on Christmas, Mama just a church field trip. Oh my fucking god, this is... Oops, 
YouTube. If you want Christmas, continue. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, at least YouTube's free because of the ads, so that's all right. But why the fuck is your need to be a war on Christmas? It's Christmas for fuck's sake. Why can't we all just get the fuck along? Anyway. Thanks, Scott. This time it's happening in Arkansas, where an elementary school was invited to a church to see a special uh, play, uh, basically the Charlie Brown Christmas play. Um, and one atheist mother was upset about it. So as a result, the entire play was shut down. <laughs> okay, now that's the kind of thing that O'Reilly would lose his mind over. Nah, you got these radicals, these loony left, like sigh. <laughs> and they're shutting down the Charlie Ryan Christmas for everybody. Okay, what was the real issue here? Okay, so, you know, Terry Elementary School was invited to a church to go see a Charlie Brown Christmas. And a Charlie Brown Christmas doesn't really bother me if they were to, like, you know, maybe show the movie or do a play on campus. Okay, if a parent objects to it, she can just keep him or her home. It's not that big of a deal. No but shit. the idea of taking an elementary class to a church to watch the play really bugged an atheist mother, which I think is understandable. Um, so as a result, the church eventually decided to uh, cancel that event, but then they uh, later uh, rescheduled it for the public. So anyone who wants to go can go. But the question is, why are you guys inviting public elementary school students to a, a church? Like, that's not okay. That's not... Well, they're doing it to indoctrinate them. What do you mean? Then it, it won't, they'll slip in a little Jesus this, and a little Mary that, and a little Nazareth this. Uh, imagine if a mosque invited oh. elementary school. That's uh, a great way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. But look, so I don't mind, right? So the whatever Christmas mm -hmm. show, I wouldn't even thought about it. I mean, I'm agnostic, you know, I can't stand religion, et cetera. We've done that a million times on the show. But if they showed my kid that in school, I wouldn't mind at all. Yeah. Even if they're going to take him to church, I wouldn't have gone as far as she did. Uh, but, you know, she has every right in the world to, to insist that they not bring her son to a church if she doesn't believe it. And you think that they're not going to slip a little Jesus Christ? Okay, her son or daughter, not the entire fucking school, all right? That's bullshit. Okay, that's fucking bullshit. You know, I can understand the separation of church and state. That's one thing. And, she, like, and you're concerned your mother trying to raise your kid the way you feel is right. Atheist, if it is the right God or goddess, doesn't really fucking matter, you know. Or any religion, no religion, whatever. But anyway, and, da -da -da -da, and the Holy Ghost in there, they're going to throw a little Holy Ghost on you. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's why they bring him to the church. Otherwise, they can show the movie in the school, right? So I get that. I get why she was. I wouldn't object, but everybody's different. And yeah. if she objects, that makes sense. And then, you know, the church opened up to the public. So, yeah, wow, big harm. Then they can do it. And I'm sure a lot of the kids went. Problem solved. Yeah. Pro I think the problem came when first she pulled the kid out, then she went to saying, uh, well, well, for good reason, I guess. The separation between this public school and, having to go and taking kids to a church. So she, then she began to protest the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then it became a, a kind of a story around this church. Yeah. And then they decided to shut down and whine, I think, a little bit. And shut the whole thing down. Rather than just go ahead and say, yeah, you know, we invite the kid. If you don't want to go, you don't go. They could have continued that. And probably 85% of the kids would have gone. Yeah, it became a stand up. I'm yeah. sure you're right. Yeah. Right? Like, neither side wanted to back down. And then it became like a war on Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. And then people wanted to get on Fox News. Okay, now we're extrapolating a little bit. By the way, you know that funny Santa poll that I shared from public policy mm -hmm. polling? Mm -hmm. Majority of the country believe there is a war on Christmas. That's unbelievable. Oh, devastating. Is that because the majority of this country is Christian? I, I, no, I mean, a lot of Christians aren't so dumb as to believe that there's a war on Christmas. How is there a war on Christmas when, like, it's freaking July and you walk into a store and there are Christ Christmas decorations everywhere. <laughs> I know, they like, start so early now. They're like, right after they put it down the Easter Bunny, they're like, oh, here's Santa. Okay, all right, I got it, I got it. And it's all about capitalism, etc. So these yeah. goofballs, and obviously Christmas is a pagan tradition to begin with, but it's depressing that a majority of the country believes there actually is a war on Christmas. Okay, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Anyway, going back to what I was going to do on my channel here, that's just one little snippet I thought I'd share with you all. Okay. On one of my videos, Random Thoughts, which got age restricted instead of taken down, because I let YouTube know that there are people falsely flagging my videos for 
shits and giggles because they hate me that much. Dr. Strans, wait, Dr. Star Scream 94 comments. Marilyn Manson once said, fame is not only measured by how many people love you, but also how many pe people hate you. The more people you get, the more trolls you're, and haters you're going to get. I agree. <laughs> and that's definitely true in my aspect, in my case, because the bigger I get on YouTube, the more people are going to hate me and try to fuck with me. And it's sad, actually, that I do that this part too. Make my life a living hell, because they're jealous. Plain and simple. Oh yeah, I'm jealous of an autistic retarded god oh, fuck who works at Wendy's. <laughs> I wish you were jealous so you wouldn't leave comments, you know, that are negative or bashing towards me. Just saying. It's kind of pathetic. This goes back to what I started this video off to begin with. Um, we have a YouTuber, I'm not going to mention the person's name. Saying shit like me and Josh go way back. Don't even get involved. This feud is ancient. He knows what he done, and he deserves everything he gets for that. Right? What have I done exactly? I mean, yeah, I've gone off and said some things that were not exactly PC or politically correct or whatever. But who has me? You know, Jesus Christ. The same person contacted my friend Chris, and I quote, said, Hey man, you look like a nice young man trying to make some money. How's about you give me all Josh's personal information, I'll give you half a million dollars. Wow. My friend Chris said, no. Okay, I value my true friends, and getting money you talk shit about friends isn't worth it. So, yeah. I heard this and I couldn't stop laughing for about 10 minutes. This is just like, my friend Chris even called me and told me about it. It's just like, wow. <clears throat> and, he, and to quote Chris, he said, man, people really out to get you, Josh. I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm used to it. <laughs> Fucking trolls. So the comments saying we go way back with the feud, okay. Um, I can think of a couple people who it might be. I have my suspects, and I really don't give a shit because I'm on YouTube for me and for my reasons. My guitar, my music, sharing with you my thoughts on our fucked up society, you know. Lord Christmas, good God. Now, you know what? I don't believe in Christ or God or any of that. I have my own religious beliefs. But I don't go around shoving it in people's faces. Um, I don't. Um... Whenever I go to see my grandparents who are churchgoers, I go there with an open mind. I don't judge, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've been to Bible study on more than one occasion at Job Corps, man. I didn't go to become a Christian. I go to gain more knowledge and with open minds. I wasn't so quick to judge Christians as a whole like I used to. And I want to apologize for that on the, on the first hand, man, because it's ridiculous. It really is, you know. But when I go off bitching about Christians, and of course I'm talking about the right wing extremist Catholics and Christians that are just in your face about it, you know. I know, and you know, that not all Christians or Catholics are like that. Some are just peaceful people just trying to live their lives like you and me, okay? But this goes back to, you know, it's just an opinion that you have that this is the right religion to believe in. Just because it's an opinion doesn't mean it's fact, you know. I mean, for all we fucking know, when we die, we're going to go to heaven and it's going to be some purple monkey going, oh, ah, ah, oh, ah, ah. And you go, what the fuck is this shit? And it's going to be like, what if everyone had it wrong? You know? Um, what if it's not the religion you've been taught your entire life? What if it's something completely different? I'll take that chance. But generally, I don't have a problem with anyone. They don't have a problem with me. Well, of course, they obviously do. Those won't be so negative about it. But yeah, wow, just pathetic. It's a scorpion sucker. It's pretty badass. Oh look, the stinger's still in there. It's funny.
only two subscribers and just created a YouTube account. That's probably why because they're getting a life, you know. The ironic thing about this whole thing is that YouTube is so easy to create an account. It's like you could create a fake account like that and then go around and start trolling people. That's not hard to do. And even if your old account gets deleted because you're violating YouTube's policies, you can easily create a new account and it's not hard to do. That being said, you know, if I were to report a YouTuber for quote unquote cyber harassing me, and by some miracle that YouTube decided that, hey, this person's not being very nice to Josh here, we're gonna kick him off of YouTube and get their account banned. Ain't gonna do shit because they could easily come around and create another account and start telling me all over again. So, there's no point in reporting him because I ain't gonna stop it. That's the unfortunate thing. So if it ain't gonna stop it, you just gotta deal with it, you know what I'm saying? It's not fun, it's not fair that people have to deal with this on YouTube. I know I'm not the only one being harassed on YouTube. I know that, okay? I'm just saying it's completely unnecessary. I don't go to their channels and their videos, these people that are harassing me on YouTube. I don't go to their videos and their channels are talking mad shit and trying to get them kicked off of YouTube because it doesn't concern me. It doesn't. I mean, if you got issues with me, that's your problem, you know, I mean, I don't know what I could have done to have offended you so badly, but please, if I've offended you in any way, let me know in the comment section or video response what I did look so bad. This sucker's a pain in the ass to get open, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. I've never actually had a scorpion sucker before, so this should, this should be interesting. I think this is blueberry flavor, I'm not sure, but... Now, I've seen it before, and that was like a lot of fun to just to try. One of those things, you know, you freak feature people out with, or just try it, you know. So basically, this is the scorpion sucker. Um... Scorpion sucker. Blueberry flavor. Yep, it says right there on the thing. Um, yep, it's got blueberry flavor. And the cool thing about this is that they'll take live scorpions, and I've seen this done before on how it's made uh, or some show like that. They take a scorpion and they and they um, humanely kill it, I believe. And yeah, they do actually. They have seen the shows, and then they um petrify it in um sucker batter and then once that's in there they just put the stick in there and then they let it harden and then package it and send it send it wherever so yeah, it's a scorpion sucker <laughs> Blueberry taste is mild but sweet, but definitely tastes like blueberries. It's probably gonna make my tongue blue. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's a pretty good sucker. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes to um, actually finish a sucker and get down to the scorpion because I've never had these before. But, yeah. Pathetic. I said before, I'll say it again. YouTube trolls are pathetic. Why would you acknowledge them? 
Why even acknowledge them? Because you know they're gonna respond to you if you bitch about them. This goes back to what the Marilyn Manson quote. They're gonna make me more famous. I guarantee fucking cheat it. <laughs> because they're gonna talk all this shit about me and people are gonna go, is this person really as bad as they say it is? King Cooper JFS, enter. Scroll down on the video, click. Oh. So either they're gonna love me or hate me. Whatever. Hmm. It's a damn good sucker. So this is um King Cobra JFS with another video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.